have them call me first as their friend rather as a top-notcher sa ganitong board exam dati. For people to tie you up with your achievements, it kind of separates you a little bit from your real humanity. And it goes a little yeah. something like... Hi guys, this is Mads Abraham and welcome to my channel. So as you can see dito sa type ng video natin, it's not my usual type of types of videos because for this video series, I will be interviewing different pharmacists in the different fields of pharmacy. So first up, we'll be having an interview with a pharmacist in the academe. Sir Lois Mortel is actually my batchmate. So sabay kaming graduate, but he is a a graduate of clinical pharmacy in June 2016, and he is a senior lecturer at Manor Review Center and an instructor currently at the USD Faculty of Pharmacy. And make sure na mag-subscribe kayo sa channel niya, SLRM, and I will just link it down below. So subscribe kayo kasi grabe yung comprehensive yung pagturo ni Sir Lois ng chemistry and pharmacology. So let's all welcome Sir Lois Mortel. Yes, yeah, hi Mads. What's up? So, unang-una, thank you kasi nagbigay ka ng time, lalo na ikaw yung unang-unang guest. So, medyo ito yung trial interview natin. But uh, meron akong mga prepare na questions and we would just be asking Sir Lois to answer them. So, first up, what did you do right after you got your license? Nung ako nagka-license ako, nasa LRT ako noon because I was currently going to different places, tutoring people kasi yun lang yung paraan ko para magka-pera. After I graduated, din ako mingin ng baon. Then, um, of course, there was this feeling of satisfaction for the first few days. Na na ako. And um, actually, within the same week, I had an invitation for teaching. Um, originally, I didn't plan to go straight ahead to that. It was a long-term goal for me, but the opportunity was there. So I took it immediately. I had a teaching role. So there started everything. Nung nakuha pa lang yung result, meron na agad siyang work. Okay, so moving on to our next question. Why did you choose to teach? If we're just gonna be honest, my first option talaga was to go to somewhere else. Actually, academia would be the last thing in my mind on the start. Kasi gusto ko sana may experience. Mapadrugstore yan for a year or two, that's experience. Or sa hospital, that's a year or two. That's experience. Actually, that's what I would recommend to many people na gusto magturo. Kasi ang magiging problema nyo, like, this is one of my problems right now. Kapag uh, nag-akadim kayo agad and you eventually teach subjects na it's about the practice, wala, may share kasi you went straight to the academy. And I think my uh, colleagues who went straight to the academy would also share the same sentiment. Pero, of course, in my case, teaching has been something of a hobby for me ever since college. So at the end of the day, parang sa akin, ayos lang because it's something that I could ever since I could naturally do. Ba't naman ako aayaw sa bagay na para sa akin, it comes naturally. Magiging personal tayo ng onte sa magiging questions na to. And I hope you don't mind answering them. So yung first question natin is, who or what inspired you to become a pharmacist, an educator, a teacher? Well, for the pharmacist side, wala. Kasi nung nagka-career orientation na high school, I just heard na, ay, yung pharma, maraming career opportunities. And me, just being practical, no? I just took it. Kahit di ko sure. Alam ko, it's about medications. But when it comes to teaching, I think before I even met my favorite teachers during college, especially si Ma'am Sarile, who is my organic and biochem prof, I think before I even went to college, I already had my first time teaching nung high school. A star section nung high school. Tapos, nung teacher's day, we were asked to, like, substitute for some teachers. Pero sa akin, in-assign sa akin, is bio. Nagturo talaga ako. And I actually enjoyed it. Tapos sabi ko, why not continue it? Kaya nga nung uh, college, nagturo pa rin ako. And first year pa lang, I was already doing review classes with my own batchmates nga, sa skolya nga natin. And you know, of course, it continued hanggang nag-graduate tayo. A big motivation is the fact that I gathered all of my mini, I don't know if, if, if you could call it aggression or like being annoyed or anger or what, but it's the fact that sometimes when I'm in the classroom, tapos I don't feel like I'm learning a lot. Hindi naman dahil sa teacher yon. I think it's because of the system, minsan sa syllabus, but I know there's something wrong. And I wanted to try to give my hand at doing that 
na nisip ko maybe I could improve on that para kapag may mga susunod sa akin na aaralin tong bagay na to, they'd learn more than I did. And that's what kept me going. And the more I encounter teachers I didn't like, the more I was actually motivated to teach. It doesn't sound good, but it's something that really fired me up. At the same time, it also kept me to the reality that I could still become the same guy that I also didn't like before. That's why I know I need to keep improving. I always try to take some uh, comments seriously if there are because I know I And that's what made me keep going until today. Alam lang mga tao na ikaw si Sir Lois, sobrang dami mong na-achieve. Like, I'm sure ever since bata ka pa, you've been on the top of the class, and then, lagi kang nag-graduate with highest honors, tapos nag-top ka pa ng board exam. So, can you tell us how that helped you? Naging burden ba siya sa'yo? Naging pressure ba siya sa'yo to be who you are today? It's undeniably a privilege. Regardless of how you frame it, it will always give you an initial advantage. And it probably was a major factor why I got most of the work, if not all of the work I have right now. But at the same time, medyo siyempre, on the subjective part, on, on the intangibles ba, yeah. people get to tie that with you. I don't know if you yourself have felt that kasi top notch ka rin. But <laughs> it's weird minsan na ang nagiging isa sa priority na description sa'yo is top notch, right? Frankly, no, hindi naman sa magagalit ako sa kanila pag like they brag me. Okay lang yon. But if they introduce me to someone new, I would rather have them call me first as their friend rather as a top notcher sa ganitong board exam dati. For people to tie you up with your achievements, it kind of separates you a little bit from your real humanity. I think it just needs you to feel within yourself talagang despite the things that I achieve, I'm gonna do my work. Like for example, pag ako nagpapakilala ako, every time in my class, I just introduce my name, I just say I'm a graduate of this school, ganito yung degree ko, but I never tell them things like my achievement. Okay rin siguro na marinig nila na may achievement kasi credentials yun at least, di ba, uh, may comfort sila. But regardless kung ano mangyari sa akin, currently I ha- I'm just a bachelor degree holder, eventually magiging master's degree holder, eventually magiging doctor degree holder. But as long as I'm doing my job, you don't need to really know what I finished or what I achieved for you to tell me I'm good. I can relate to it on so many levels. <laughs> Pero syempre, hindi ko na yung kikwento kasi siya yung guest natin. Pero sobrang ang gila ko doon. And it's really different kapag kilala ka nila just for who you are other than those achievements. Kasi you're so much more than that. Now to those who are listening, I really hope na na-inspire kayo dun sa sinabi ni Sir Liz about that. Let's move on to our next question. So, can you tell us naman the pros and cons of this field? So, before we move on to the cons, let's first start with the pros. So, what are the advantages? It's the fact that you don't need to work on a regular 8 to 5 na shift. Kasi it's akadim. Just like a student. Everything else kasi maliban dun is optional for me already. You get to talk to people. I've heard of people in the pharmacy practice. They leave their job because they don't really get a lot of interactions. Of course, maliban sa colleagues sila, pero I think there are some people who want more. They're kind of more on the extroverted side. If you are one who likes to communicate with younger people, and if yung personality naman ay okay para sa mga bata, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Those are the only pros I can think of right now, specific sa akin. So can you tell us naman, Kuya, about the cons of the field? Well, the field is not something that you could get used to right away because if you have had no practical experience in teaching, medyo yung learning curve hindi ganun kadali compared to other. Lahat naman merong kailangan training but I think in teaching it's especially difficult. Yung feeling mo na pagiging pharmacist, medyo nagiging limited kasi syempre when you go to the classroom, wala kang compounding area eh. or like you don't have instruments, you don't see like manufacturing machines. There's nothing for you, walang gamot, walang TPN, no nothing. And that's why many teachers fall into the trap of teaching outdated things and it's really a challenge. Then of course, if we're gonna talk about the salary, compared to other jobs, it's quite decent naman. Lalo na kapag part-timer ka lang, it will depend on the units that you will be given. The special thing about promotion in academia is you do need to get graduate 
school degrees. Ano ba yung uh, minimum requirements na kailangan nila? Like, kailangan ba sa lahat ng schools may master degree? Pwedeng ongoing yung master mo? I'm not exactly familiar what thing is uniform throughout all schools. I think most schools right now accept at least at least people who are undergoing their master's degrees. Kunyari, nandun ka na sa academe. Meron ka bang yearly na kailangan tinitake na test or kailangan na qualifications para ma-maintain mo yung pagiging member ng faculty? Of course, if you are a part-timer, per term, nilalaman nyo nila yun. If you have good uh, evaluation results from both the admin and the students, kung yung degree mo ay ongoing pa ba o tapos na? Uh, next question naman natin, would you want to change into another field? And if yes, why? If no, why not? For me, when I said a while ago that I was not really planning on teaching first, that, mean, that means I was planning to teach as like the terminal part of my career. Meaning it's like the, the, the last thing I would do because it's what I think is the most important thing. Meaning, sana noon ang nasa isip ko, may experience ako bago magturo. Para pag nagturo ako, it really has a lot of content. But now, I'm given the chance to do it even at my early stages of my career. I, as long as I'm in my right mind, would continue doing this. Kasi it's like in my previous plans, the Zenith, when I hear good things from people around me with my work, it, it's really fulfilling. And at the end of the day, as cliche as it may seem, the fact that in whatever field you are, you feel fulfilled. Why would you escape? And that's why I think I'm going to keep doing this. On top of, of course, being part of the university, doing research, which is kailangan talaga yon to be a well-rounded educator. And so I'm, I'm going to keep doing this. So for a very last question for this podcast, can you tell us or can you give us your final message for all the pharmacy students, all the future pharmacists, or even yung mga current pharmacists nga na nanonood ngayon, be it in the academe or not? For our student pharmacists right now, I would like to say there are a lot of opportunities. Academia is just one of them. I just happened to land on it earlier than I wanted to. Whatever you're studying may not be really what you want right now. Pero eventually, baka mamaya, doon kayo mapadpad. Alam nyo naman na to, you take everything seriously. Don't be disheartened if, for example, you feel like it's not for you kasi di mo forty yung isang isang aspect, like on the sciences or on the mathematical side. Because I had a lot of friends. They're not really excellent students. I don't even want to think of myself as one. But they still have jobs right now. Some of them are doctors. Eh, basta kanila tulog ng tulog lagi sa klase. I also slept a lot in class. Look at where we are now. That means you never have to lose hope you don't have to lose hope so so do not you may lose it but gain it again huh uh, for those who are taking the boards soon and tagal ng pandemic but i hope that you would really take it seriously kasi alam niyo naman a lot is at stake kapag uh, board exam na don't think that everything is centered on the board exams because there's so much in life after you by the time you take the boards like around 20 years old but hanggang mag-retire ka ilang taon pa yun if you're gonna retire at 60 that's 40 years so ang dami pang pwede mangyari even if you fail, that's okay. Tagal-tagal lang buhay. Don't be too afraid. Sa akin, mga colleagues, I don't really know what to say kasi nga, academe is one of the most disconnected from practice. And I know that you may actually be experiencing much more problems that, than we are. Pero hanggang gumanda ulit ang bukas natin, kapit lang tayo. Kapit lang tayo. So it's really a privilege na nakakinig kami sa mga sinabi mo kasi it really inspires me and I'm sure it will inspire a lot of people. Thank you very, very, very much. And if you have any questions for Sir Lois or for me, you can just comment down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Kuya Sir's channel, so don't forget to subscribe to SLRM if you want to learn more about chemistry and pharmacology. Yeah, so this is my channel. I don't really like advertising, but I have my chance here. So I started in pharmacology this year. There are requests for other subjects, but I think I will first start pharmacology because it's like everyone's demand. So do check it out if you haven't. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Sir Lois. Yeah, thank you, Tomad. Salamat din sa lahat ng nanood sa amin. Sana meron kayong napulog. Sana na-inspire din kayo kasi ako na-inspire ako. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and to Sir Lois' channel. See you in the remaining episodes of my podcast.